What's up, Andy Der fans? Michael O'Sullivan here at the ballpark on campus. Now, with the baseball season coming to an end soon and the MLB draft right around the corner, this week we decided to do a piece on Keston Hira, who is a junior this year and is on the radar for many major league teams given how he has performed in his three years here on campus. Hira is currently hitting over 400 on the season and is right at the top of the country in several offensive categories. He has no doubt been very impressive with the bat since coming here to Irvine. And although many things stand out when he's at the dish, it's probably the power that has grabbed the attention of most people. Before being recruited here by head coach Mike Gillespie, Hira flew under the radar a bit in high school. It was in his senior season where he made great strides at the plate and actually led the state of California in home runs that season. And it didn't take him long to make an impression on the coaching staff here at UCI. Even though you think you know a guy when you recruit him, the truth of the matter is, is you really don't know him until you get them here and you get them here every day. In his case, he was very impressive from the very first day. Uh, and so we... We were excited for sure very early on, but still kind of tempered our enthusiasm to see more of it for a longer period of time. It really didn't take very long though for it to be really apparent that this guy was different. The ball just came off the bat harder, louder, and farther. And uh, it's, never, it's never changed. Um, relative to your question about beyond professional baseball, well, at that young age, it's a, it's a little tough to make that call, that prediction. Um, but certainly as time has gone on, and I think as, as we got into that second year, um, after having had the great freshman year and a great summer, um, it was pretty clear that this guy was different, and he would have some sort of a professional future. Now, of course, he has just continued to arrow up to the point where he's, he's no secret to anybody any longer. He is, he is on the front burner for professional baseball. Now, the pure hitting and power numbers for Hira can speak for themselves when looking at his career thus far here in Irvine. But another experience that not only helped his confidence, but probably first got the attention of Major League teams and scouts was when he played for the Team USA Collegiate team this past summer. Now, Hira suffered an arm injury that has not only kept him off the field defensively this year, but he couldn't play any defense for Team USA either. Basically, his bat and hitting ability was too good to ignore, and the national team brought him on exclusively to be a hitter. It worked out, and he performed well this summer. And to cap it off with a series tied at two games apiece, and the game tied 1-1, Hira was summoned to pinch hit in the eighth inning, and the base is empty. On a 2-2 pitch, he lifted a ball high to left field and out for the go-ahead and eventually game-winning home run, pushing Team USA to a 2-1 victory and the series win, the program's first ever in Cuba. A lot of kids, you know, they grow up hearing about, you know, people competing for, you know, Team USA, um, whether it was 18U or the collegiate level, or, you know, at the professional level. So, you know, being able to get the opportunity to do that, um, you know, it was, it was really, I was really grateful for that. And, um, you know, it was, there was a lot of stuff going around with, you know, my arm and, and all that. But, um, you know, I was, I was, you know, great, like I said, grateful to give them the opportunity to, to go to the trials and, um, you know, compete with some of the best players around the world, you know, to get a roster spot on that team. And, uh, you know, once, once I um, got told I was on the team, you know, it was, it was really exciting. Um, you know, being able to travel to uh, Taiwan, Japan, and Cuba, and you know, play with the best players around the world. It's 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 truly um, an amazing experience, and you know, something I'll never forget. Home run in Cuba is definitely you know one of the top highlights of my life. Um, you know, it's it's something that's going to stick with me forever. And you know, being able to you know get that first series win you know in Cuban soil um, for Team USA, and um, you know, being a part of that. It's, you know, it's definitely something special and um, you know, memorable in my life. So the time with Team USA was valuable and undoubtedly helped the draft stock for Hira. Now with the season winding down, he will look to finish off his career on a high note and hopefully with some wins. Then he'll get set for the MLB draft in June. Now many experts have him coming off the board in the first round. And there's a chance he could be the highest drafted player in UC Irvine baseball history. I've never seen anybody like this, uh, even guys that I've played with. You know, I've played with a lot of guys in professional baseball that are playing on TV right now, and I've never seen anybody this good. Uh, he's, he's special. He's, he's a professional. I mean, he, he knows his craft. He wants to get better. 
uh, in the quality of work he puts in too. He's not just you know putting in the work to put in the work. He, there's attention to detail, and he's really doing stuff with a purpose. I mean, I think he can be a major league all-star. Uh, wow. You know, I think he's he's that good, and there's power. He can hit. He's smart. He's a really good baseball player, which kind of goes unnoticed, especially now with him just DHing. Um, but he really knows how to play the game, and I think. You know, the ceiling's the limit. You know, I think he, we're going to be watching him play on TV for a long time. He certainly is on the shortest list of the type of player that you've just described, a player that uh, was nowhere uh, on the professional radar as a high school player to become the high-end front-burner guy that he is today. I mean, there've, there haven't been a lot of those guys. There've been, there have been some, though, of course. And, uh, but he has... As you as your question uh, points to, uh, he's made a dramatic rise as a prospect in baseball. That's there's no debate about that. It's definitely my ultimate goal to play, uh, you know, professional baseball. And um, you know, leading up to to today and you know going forward, um, you know, I feel that you know I've I'm pretty confident that in my abilities to play at the next level. Um, you know, when that time comes, it. it you know, my performance will dictate whether or not that will happen. But, um, you know, at this point, looking forward, you know, I really believe that, you know, I have what it takes to, you know, play at that next level and compete, you know, with, with the best players around the world and, you know, make it, you know, make it my job to, to go out on the diamond and, um, you know, play with, play in front of a crowd and all that. So, um, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to it and, um, you know, excited about it. We try to stay out of his way. Uh, we don't want to screw him up, but but yeah, it's cool being around him. And you know, he's he's such a good kid. There's no ego. He's a good teammate, and I think a lot of that stuff just you know we're gonna miss being around him every day more than just the three-run home runs too. So that does it for our inside look into Keston Hero. We wish him all the luck in the world as he attempts to go forward into his professional career. You can also see Hira and the Anteaters play on campus here at the end of the month. As they will host UCLA on May 23rd, then UC Davis for a three-game set to wrap up the season. Talk to you next time, Anteater fans.